Hello, gentlemen. Tell me about your project here. Our project is about Frederick Banting, who discovered insulin. What can you tell me about him? He went to, oh, you want to say it? Um, he was born in London, Ontario, and he went to the University of um, Toronto, and this is where he um, was born and grew up. Until it and, was remodeled, because... And, yeah, and he's remodeled now, and it's now a museum. Yep. Why did uh, why did he discover insulin? He discovered insulin because I'm not exactly sure, but I'm pretty sure he had a niece or a sister, I think, that had diabetes, and he wanted to help her. And what is insulin? Insulin is a drug that helps patients with diabetes sort of gives them sugar in the body so then it sort of cure it's sort of like a cure to them <coughs> for them and what what kind of an effect did he make um a big one for sure cuz uh, he said he um helped people live normal lives that had diabetes and helped them live longer and who's that gentleman down there? Um, this is his partner, um, John McLeod, um, that was assisting him and shared the Nobel Prize with Frederick Banton. Yep. Was John McLeod Canadian as well? Um, I'm pretty sure he he's was born in Yeah, he's Scottish, because yeah. he was born in Scotland. So, September 6th. So... He and is actually is older. Is it is it Doctor Frederick Banton or what's his first name, or is it they, his title? Do you know? Um, they call him Doctor Frederick Banton <laughs> at the museum, but um, his first name is uh James. I think that's he had a lot of names. He had a first name, I think, two middle names, and Banton. Was was he in the military as well? Is that what that picture is? Yeah. Um, yeah. He was helping um, soldiers with diabetes. Yeah. Okay. And and did he was he in one of the wars or? He was. He was like a medical doctor for the wars. Not really in the war, but okay. he was sort of in, but not fighting. Okay. He wasn't very old when he died, eh? No, he's only fifty. He was fifty. Was there any particular reason why he died so young that we know uh, of? Well, usually back then people died early, so that's probably what happened. He might have caught a flu and they couldn't help him. Okay. And uh, why did you pick this particular topic? Um, we chose this um, topic because he's Canadian and he saved lots of Canadians and like international lives, so yeah. And we thought this would be a good project for Canadian Heritage Project because he's Canadian and he saved lots of Canadian lives and other people around the world's lives. And what did you find most interesting about this project? Um, personally, I thought it was um, his house that was turned into a museum. Yeah. That's what I and what did you most interesting was actually that he had a partner because first I thought that he was just working on it alone, but he actually had a partner assisting him. So. Okay. Thank you very much, gentlemen. The Nepean Raiders hockey team was founded in 1972. They are a junior ice hockey team, part of the Central Canadian Ice Hockey League. Steve Eisman. Steve Eisman was the best player in the era. The hockey player rose from the Nepean Raiders Junior Ice Hockey Team to a hockey legend. He is in the Hockey Hall of Fame from this year's Olympics at Sochi. He was one of the he was the one who chose the players for the gold medal winning hockey team. There is even an arena local sportsplex named after him.
find it quite interesting that I was walking by and then I saw his name on like the stairs of the Olympian Sportsplex Arena. And then when I was doing the project, I kind of realized that it was him. So, you know, I find it really interesting. A hockey player from a junior ice hockey league rose up to be a hockey hall of famer and the one who chose the players for the Olympic hockey team. The one that won gold medal. That's really cool. Like you could be you could be just from a junior ice hockey team, but you could rise up to be famous, you could be a really good hockey player in the future. And now of course has his own connection. Yes. I play with the Nepean Raiders, so I have some connections. And since you can be a hockey player that's like that gets novice B but then you can eventually go up and become an NHL famous legend. And okay. well, thank you for listening to our presentation. And we found it really interesting about how Steve Weisman came from the Pain Raiders hockey team. All the way and what do you think is one of the benefits of playing hockey? Uh, one of the benefits of playing hockey is that well, it's good exercise because you're using your legs and it's good for balance too because you're on a skate blade one eighth of an inch. And it can be really fun to do. So you're just, you're just yeah. skating sometimes or sometimes you're playing hockey for fun. And if you win, you feel like you've accomplished something. You've done something. Or if you lose, you still learn something. You learned that it's okay to lose and you still have fun. Excellent. Thank the basketball, he was born on November 6, 1861, and um, um, his mom died on his ninth birthday, um, so like that was like really hard for him, and um, he struggled to grow up because like after he died he grew up with his uncle. And, and then what after he went to the Springfield College and that's where he invented basketball because with Luther Gulick he demanded um, him to make a game that was the people could play in the winter indoors. Um, and also, um, he started out with basketball with an actual like basket as the net, and with like a soccer ball instead of like a, a real basketball. And now it's all too much. We don't use soccer. We use like actual nets and like different balls, not like as soccer balls. And he also. His wife uh, played in the woman, the first women's basketball team, and uh, and the cool thing is that um, he only played the actual game two times. Um, the first time was when he invented it, and the second time was seven years later at um, a university. What did you find most interesting about uh, your project? Well, how he still invented basketball, and, but he was struggling when he was little, but after he grew up, and Told you so. I didn't find We all know. Go ahead and bring him. Go ahead and bring yeah, it's fine. After recess. Yeah, we got lots of. Yeah, there's lots of open spots in the second block. Well, interesting. A hockey player from the junior ice hockey league. Go on the way in.